What's up my royal brothers? Today on Passport Kings, I'm going to walk you through the process of getting your passport. Engage. Today's episode is again brought to you by the book that I wrote called Why Do I Keep Choosing Thugs? You can still get that book on Amazon. It's an exciting urban thriller for the lady in your life. So get it for your lady or anybody you know that like to read that sort of thing and help support the Passport Kings movement. Before I get into today's show, I want to clear up a few things from last week and plus I want to make a few announcements. Last week, after my first relaunch episode of Passport Kings, I got so much traffic that my site went down. I got it right back up immediately, but obviously I needed a new server. I've taken care of that issues, and now it'll never happen again. Sorry about that, brothers. In corrections music. Okay, here's today's quick and simple guide to getting a U.S. passport. In the past, a young boy would have to kill a crazy animal or... Uh, survive in the wilderness for a certain amount of days to earn his rite of passage. But as time went on and our species became more civilized, a lot of those rituals have disappeared. To me, the ability to leave this country when you feel like it, that's the new tumultuous transition that will change you from childhood to adulthood. A US passport is a symbol that you've made that transition and you're ready to conquer the world. A US passport allows you to travel safely to foreign lands. On December 15, 1915, they became required when leaving or entering the US. Passports are good for 10 years generally and they must be replaced afterwards. You can't just renew it because people can change a lot during that period. I realize most of the Passport King brothers already have withered passports that's been stamped numerous times, but this step-by-step -step guide is made for those that'll be traveling out of the country for the first time. But stick around, veterans. You may learn something too. Plus, as a guest in my kingdom, I treat all my subscribers like family, and you'll get the respect you deserve, plus I'll throw in a few things for the veterans. First and foremost, get a haircut. You're probably gonna be taking a picture today that's gonna be sticking with you for the next 10 years. You may as well look your best in it. I wore a collar shirt that day, but it's not necessary. Just look presentable. You can't wear a hat, a scarf, or sunglasses. You know, anything that could block any piece of your face. But, of course, you can wear prescription glasses and hearing aids. You know, anything that's necessary that you usually have on. You know, because they're gonna want you looking exactly like the picture whenever you get it stamped or you show it. Two, next, call your local post office and tell them that you're coming in to get your passport. Ask them what's the best time to be there. Some post offices allow walk-ins. Hopefully the one closest to you does. If not, just make the appointment they offer and postpone your haircut to a new day. Thankfully, in my case, they just told me to come in that day. But before you go, grab your old beat up birth certificate out of your important paper stash and grab about $200. This is around the time when non-kings would say, $200? I don't have that kind of money. Then they'll white boy with their $215 Jordans, stand up and you'll see the horseshoe on their True Religion jeans that was about $215. Then they'll unplug their $400 PS4, jump out of their finance car that they've been paying about $350 a month for, and then they'll drive home. To those people, I say my videos are not meant for them. They're not kings, they're more like servants. But to current and future passport kings, your journey into royalty is almost done. On your way to the post office, you can stop by any Rite Aid, Walmart, or any print shop to get your pictures taken, and that'll save you about $7. But by the time you do that, it'll be so much hassle involved, it won't even be worth the trip. The kid behind the counter don't know how to work the, the machine or the printer, and you have a hard time taking a picture, and it's just really a hassle after a while. If you're gonna waste time on the line, you might as well waste it at the post office instead of wasting it online at a grocery store or a Walmart. And that's why I said, just bring a little extra money so you can get it all over it in one place. Tell the post office lady or the dude there that you're here to get your passport. They may let you skip the line. They'll tell you to fill out the DS-11 form, which you could have got online, but you gotta come here anyway, so you might as well do it at the post office. Plus, the teller there, they have to sign it and stamp it, so you might as well do it there. She'll make you raise your hand and swear an oath. 
Then if needed, she'll take your pics. She'll put your application and birth certificate into an envelope and send it off. All done. I shipped out all the information and now it's off to the US government. They're gonna get me my passport in about two to three weeks. Let's see how it goes. About two weeks later, your passport will arrive in the mail. And in about three weeks, so will your birth certificate. And there you have it, a brand spanking new passport and only five easy steps. You're now able to play with the big boys, no more riding the bench. You've taken the most important step to becoming a passport king. Before you go, I got one more thing to add. If you're just going on a cruise, you don't need your passport, but it works. Just make sure you have your birth certificate if you don't. But every time you step one foot off a plane in a different country, Customs is going to want to see your passport. So until next week, subscribe below. Check out my website, www.passportkings.com, where you can get the new shirt that just came out. It's very cheap. Everything is working smoothly now. See about our upcoming events and sign up to our mailing list. Don't let nobody stop you from getting what you want. Go for what you want like how a crackhead goes for crack. There's no stopping a crackhead to get his crack, is it? There shouldn't be no stopping you from getting what you want in this world. Because when you want it that bad, you'll get it. Wear your crowns proud and never let anyone tell you that you're not a king. A passport king. I'll see y'all next week with another episode. Subscribe below. Peace. Next, call your local post. Just look presentable. You can wear a hat, a scarf, or sunglasses. But of course you can wear prescription